time for bed. Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It is a Sunday and the new update that was promised for February has just dropped. So in real life, it is actually Friday the 24th of February and uh, this is the day when the developers of this game dropped the, the update that includes, among other things, new outfits for Tara. Oh, and the photo mode. So, if we want to take photos in game, the time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. If we want to take photos in this game, then we go to photo mode. Objects far and objects near. Get up and fly from there to here. I don't think I will be taking any photos though. Oh, we have mail. Well, let's see about things in here first. Oh, right. Uh, last time I forgot to put new stuff into these barrels. And there we go. I think. Right. Let's see about this. Hey, beautiful. I've been thinking about it and I would like to take you up on your dinner offer. Shall we have an evening picnic in the hollow? I'll make an amazing charcuterie platter. Perhaps you could bring some bread? Just come by my shop when you're ready for our picnic. Wesley. All right. So we need to make some bread. I'll read that letter once I've made the bread. There we go. Okay, let's see about the other letter. Tara. Will you come by my shop when you have a free moment? I have some really exciting news and could use your help. Thanks, Violet. So this must be in regards to the update. The uh, outfit making thing. But I guess... It's going to have to be on a day when Violet's shop is open. Is her shop open on Sundays? I can't remember. Although I think almost every shop is closed on Sundays. We'll go and see once we are done here. Wesley's picnic thing is going to be in the evening, so um, we'll just have to get there because he said that we should come by his shop. We'll have to get there before 5 p.m. because that's when his shop closes. Hello, Layla. So yeah, we'll do the violet thing first. Pancho. And then at some time later, we'll go to Ravenwood Hollow. Buttercup. Luna and Lady.
and Matilda. Almost at full hearts with the sheep and cows. Nice. Listen to that purr. Cleopatra. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? All right. I think we're ready to go see if Violet's shop is open. Almost every one, yeah, it's closed as well. And on Mondays too. So we'll have to wait till the day after tomorrow. To, uh start the Violet's outfit thing. talent is beyond anything I could have dreamed in both her magical and civilian life so I guess from what I can gather there's going to be some sort of a quest and then the reward for that will be the ability to make new outfits fling reminds me of an old friend of mine he was shy so I dragged him everywhere. Then one day he planted his feet and I kept going. Yeah, you have led a kind of a wandering life, haven't you? Is that heavenly aroma? Fish too? But you do seem to be pretty settled here now. Well, I guess we could go and socialize a little. See who we can find out here. Natalia. Parker is a great neighbor. He uh, really helped we've me heard get this settled before. when I first moved here. That Lena's a lucky gal. So have we finally exhausted some of the dialogue options. Fairhaven festivals are truly a delight. Ah, oh, you don't still think they're superstitious nonsense? No, the League may be closed-minded on these things, but I've truly come to appreciate the celebrations. Well, that's nice to hear, Cameron. Angus. Tara! Oh, do you ever think that maybe your name should be pronounced Tara? I mean, it's Irish, right? I don't know. Maybe I've been pronouncing my name wrong my whole life, but I'm kind of committed at this point. Hey, I don't judge. Anywho, it's spring fling season. I want to make some hot cross buns. Think you could scare up some honey and butter for me? Fresh churned butter makes the buns so much better. No, oh, yeah. Here you Here's go. some freshly churned butter and honey for you, Angus. Perfect! I'll get started on these right away. Uh, come see me at the spring fling and you'll get an extra bun. Oh, nice. And now we can make them at home, too. I know he may have been after my bakery once, but now Marty is a man after my own heart. Uh, Did you know one of his cows is named Mona Lisa? So we are finally starting to get the uh, lines of dialogue that we've heard before from people. Kim, hi. Hey, Kim. Excited for spring fling season? Kinda. Honestly, I've been trying to work up the nerve to tell Amira how much she means to me. But whenever I'm about to tell her, I don't know, I get all tongue-tied and chicken out. I could see how Amira would have that effect on someone. Maybe you should try writing down what you want to say. Tara, that's brilliant. I'll send her a note instead. Then I can't freeze up in her ridiculously stunning presence. Well, I did just make some special floral stationery, if you want to send her a love card. Yes, but wait, what should I say? Tell her that she makes you happy. Okay, write this. Amira, you make me happier than I ever dreamed possible. If it is a dream, I hope I never wake up. 
love Kim. Aww. Too sappy? I don't care. She makes me feel like I'm so nervous I want to throw up and I can fly all at the same time. Will you make the love card and drop it in her mailbox for me? Sure. Aww. That was so Give us sweet. Full surprises. So, a love card. All right. Thomas gets a bad rap for being kind of anti-social, but he's cool. He never minds if I cut through his place on my way to the beach. Yeah, people are starting to repeat things that they have said before. I guess the dialogue uh, can't be, like, inexhaustible in a game like this. There's got to be a finite number of lines per person. Damon, there you are. Look, something really weird is happening, and it all started after I went to your bar. I tried that new cocktail of yours, the Sweet Kiss, and now all of a sudden, everyone is acting weird towards me. Cameron came by and told me I looked really pretty today. Kim dropped by, gave me some free steak, and Kai offered to teach me how to body surf. Listen, I know you're a witch, and that's fine, I guess. But was there something in that drink besides mixers? Well, maybe. <laughs> Demon! I just put a little charm potion in it to put everyone in the spring fling mood. But I think I made Natalia's a bit too strong. Can you fix it? Scratch that. Tara, can you help? I am not taking any more of Damon's concoctions, magical or not. I'll try. Maybe Perry has something that could help. Okay. Undo a charm potion. Give us a good teacher, like Helena was. It's cool the kids can get out of the classroom and experience something real sometimes. We need to get to Ravenwood Hollow, don't we? We need to go to Perry's shop, and then we need to go to Wesley's shop as well. Perry first, though, because I think uh, Wesley's picnic is going to take us until evening. Perry, is there a chance you might have a recipe for a potion that could cool a charm effect? Natalia needs my help. Ah, that explains why I've suddenly felt drawn to a mortal woman again. Let me guess. Damon has been brewing more than beer lately? Not to sell him out, but yeah. That's exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very well. I have an ardor cooling potion recipe that should do the trick. All right. Have you tried that boosted charm potion yet? Not that you need it. Girls in your family have always been quite charming all on your own. Ah, That was sweet of you to say. Here, have some more of these. Mmm, what lovely smells. Alright, Ardor Cooling Potion. And we'll buy the uh, ingredients as well. Now that we need to be making love cards, we are going to need more flowers. And I almost forgot, we need to buy the magic bean. Wesley. Are you ready for our al fresco dinner? Yep, I've got a fresh baked loaf right here. Perfect, let's go. I'll just say it, Tara. I didn't ask you to join me so that we could have a nice meal. There's also something I've been working up the courage to say. I care for you. A lot. Oh, Wesley. I feel the same way. Really? Even though I'm sometimes like this, if it were nighttime, I might go in for a kiss right now.
หนอ All right. So we're dating now. Um, Ariel. I don't understand why humans feel the need to move so fast. If you're only here for a short while, why not enjoy it like the animals do? Hmm. Well, if you're only here for a short while, uh, you want to move fast to get things done. You know, Natalia is truly one of the most charming villagers in town, don't you think? Nah, uh -huh. we really need to make that potion, don't we? Let's go and see if we already have all the ingredients, or if we need to get or make something. I guess we already have them all. Yep. Good thing I got some extra of that dragon blood sap. Oh, speaking of which, maybe we should make more of those one time use tappers and uh, get some more of that sap. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I think I see something. So Sebastian's final favorite is peanut brittle. All right. And Shelby. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Tomato soup. I see something. Goulash. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Sophia. Smoked salmon bagel. I see something. Chicken soup. It's empty. All right. Coven time. Anybody have any quests or anything? Nope. All right, let's just go water our plants. Okay, so one more day until we can start on the quest to, um, well, the quest that'll eventually get us the ability to make Tara some new clothes. Can't wait. Luckily, it's just one day. Oh yeah, uh, we do need to make the, uh, love card. I wonder if anybody else is going to have any Spring Fling related quests. We do have like one more week until the day. So maybe, what flowers do we want to use? Maybe poppies? Yeah, we have plenty. And there we go. So where exactly does Amira live? Let's go and... Uh, she doesn't live in the same building 
as the uh, clinic, right? Like above it or anything? No. There are some houses here. Huh, I can't interact with that. Does nobody live here? And that's the, um, Parker, Lena, Finn, Emmy residence. Here we have, um, Sophia and Juliet. And Angus and Frances. Hmm. So we really can't interact with that one mailbox here, right? Right. Hmm. Maybe we need to figure this out tomorrow. It's some um, bedtime. So if she doesn't live here, yep, there are only those two houses there. Where? Where do we have more houses? The beach. There are houses on the beach. Like, uh, right here. Let's go and see. I know we're cutting it pretty close to 2 a.m. Which is the time when we pass out if we're not in bed by then. But I really want to get this done. There we go. We'll speak to Kim tomorrow. Well, in the morning. Technically, it'll be today. Right. Um, so, in the next episode, we'll speak to Kim and complete that quest. Also, maybe we'll get to see what Amira thinks of the card. And we'll also find out if anybody else has any Spring Fling related quests for us. Until then though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.